This week in Nerf, we're all about community made and third party made new products and updates. We've got new blasters, magazine updates, new holsters, all kinds of good stuff. I'm Jangular, and every Saturday morning, this is your source for our first party, third party, and community Nerf news, jiving right on in. We have a design from the Northeast Design Corp, a company we talked about a couple weeks ago with one of their designs, and they have a new one called the Chimera. This is something they've been working on for a little while, and it is meant to be an updated version of the Caliburn, addressing some of their personal thoughts on what could be improved with the Caliburn, Caliburn platform, which is definitely interesting. And I have to say, I really like the aesthetic of this blaster, the, the changes they've made, though the overall shape is somewhat similar. This is now a bullpup blaster rather than a standard uh, magwell placement. It has a very sleek look to it in terms of the 3D printed parts that hold all of it together. So I definitely dig that. They have cut down on the size of the plunger tube as they they believe that the plunger tube does not need to be as long as the current Caliburn one. So that cuts down on some of the length of the blaster as well as it being a bullpup design cuts down it. So it's an overall smaller blaster, but should ideally in their minds perform as well. And I'm some, I'm very interested to see how it performs once completed and is in the hands of people. Uh, this is really cool because it is a open source platform, the Calibrin is, so people can take the designs and improve upon it, change things, design how they want. So this is really cool to see someone going ahead and altering things in the way that they have to kind of improve upon a platform we currently have. Now, I'm personally not the biggest fan of bullpup blasters in practice, in actual use, but aesthetically they're very cool looking and I definitely dig that. Something important to note as well is that this is a uh, Katana Mag variant that you see in the image right here right now, but they are also going to offer a full size mag version, which I think is really cool that you're gonna have the option to have one or the other. Uh, if you wanna go really, really compact, you're only gonna use Katana mags, then you don't need the full size mag version. It saves you a couple inches. So I think that's kind of nice. Now, something I also wanna mention about this is that even though this is aimed to improve upon the design of the Caliburn, uh, I thought it was really interesting that in the Reddit thread link below for this, Captain Slug, the creator of the Caliburn, uh, commented on there and offered some advice on parts that could be adjusted, namely, I believe, the trigger mechanism or pull it, it was. And it was good to see Northeast Design Corp actually take that into consideration and adjust things. So it just, it's this great community feeling to me that it's like, oh, you're building something that may even directly compete with what I've made. Well, here, let me help you with that. Here's something that may help make it even better. And that's just so absolutely cool to me and just such a great thing and shows that these people really, they just want the community to grow and, and this side of nerfing to grow. And that's just something that really makes me happy and I love seeing it happen. So this is something that you're gonna be able to take a look at down below. Like I said, I've got the Reddit link and their Facebook page as well. These aren't available just yet, but I did wanna share them because it is, it's pretty cool. And if you like bullpup blasters, this is an option for you to definitely take a look at and keep in mind. Now, since we are talking about Katana mags for a portion of the Camara blaster, it's important to note Jet Blasters is actually updating their Katana mags with a new color version. Now they've offered up three different variants, which you can see here, uh, and these are all semi-transparent, whether you're going full transparent clear to transparent orange or transparent black. These are offerings that they've posted up and asked, it, asked for opinions from the community on which version they should make. So it looks like we may only be getting one of these types. Uh, I I certainly hope that we'll still be able to get the fully opaque orange ones that we have currently, because if you've started to collect Katana mags and you haven't finished getting as many as you want, having to mix and match isn't always the greatest thing. I know I wouldn't want half opaque, half transparent. I would want all one or the other, and I'm not certain, certain I would want to completely rebuy or start from the beginning if I wanted more than I currently have. So. While it's cool, and I think it's awesome they're adding more of these, these things, I hope we will be able to still get the originals that we have our hands on currently. One more thing to talk about from Jet Blasters, there is a CETA update. I know 
that this is something that has been long coming in terms of the actual release of the CETA. We've been hearing more and more, which has been nice, and I'm glad that Jet has been uh, keeping people updated, but now they have released production sample images that they received for quality control testing and apparently these pieces all pass the test i'm only going to show a couple of them uh, i believe we've got a grip here and i will show the magazines in a moment what's really cool to me is the magazines are clear i like clear magazines i think they're really cool and they're fun you know you can see yes there's arguable debate on function opposing players being able to see how many darts you have left that kind of thing but I think they're cool. That's my personal opinion. So I, I like that they're going to go this way for the uh, CETA Blaster. And what's interesting to note to me about these magazines is that they have that same slot that the Katana mags do where you can actually pull down the pusher. And so I think that's interesting that we're gonna have that similar design for a full dart length size magazine. So that's interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these perform uh, as compared to other full-length dart magazines that we have. But we'll have to wait till they actually come out and we'll see if they even sell them separately or if you have to get a CETA to own one of them. But I just want to keep you updated on that. I'm glad that we are hearing from Jet Blasters and hope we continue to hear more from them on these things. Let's keep moving though. So we have a couple more things to talk about before we get into our mod and video of the week. And the next one is Campster Blasters. They released a video this week and uh, some posts talking about a product called the Holster. And this is a magnetic assisted holster for various things. They started with the Kronos and they've also done a adapter for Chaos magazines, which are big and bulky, and the Strife, and they're working on other things as well. But what's really cool about these is that they are minimalist. They're very small, very lightweight, very compact. So you don't have this big bulky thing hanging off the side of your leg. You just have a small platform that you can drop a piece into. And I think it's really cool because it's kind of like, um, there was a holster or a, a, what's the right way to put it? There was something I saw from Airsoft that basically allowed you to just kind of drop a, a, a full length rifle onto a hook into a little like holder that kept it there when you weren't using it. And this is kind of reminiscent of that. And I really like the idea. I like that it's both magnetic and friction, I believe, uh, the way that it slots in. So I think it's really cool. The downside potentially for some people is that you will have to permanently or semi-permanently affix the a portion that you see in the pictures here onto your blasters or magazines or whatever you want to use in them. So it's something you definitely want to keep in mind going into these, whether or not you want uh, an extra piece on your blaster, especially if you're doing an aesthetic mod. It may be something to take into mind when you're starting it so you can integrate it. I believe you can actually pull the magnets off. So for storage, if you're not gonna use the holster, uh, you can pull those off so you don't have them hanging off the side. But regardless, this is something that's very interesting to me and, and they are working on more and more product lines and options for, I believe, molly and belt mounting so you don't have to have it on a drop leg platform. But this is just one of those things that I think is really cool and interesting and another option for people in their uh, quest to have whatever type of holster or mag holder they may want. And I look forward to seeing where they go with this and how it's received by the community once it's in the hands of people actually using them in games. Because they are available now. You can order them from, them, from their Etsy, which will be linked down below, of course. But let me know what you think about that one. One more thing to talk about, and this is something from a group called EC Maker on Facebook. And this is a Retaliator Rail Kit. Also works on the Recon. The part that makes this the most interesting and worth talking about is that the kit requires no shell cutting. It, it looks like it screws in over the shell pieces and gives you a nice rail section that's also interchangeable. So you can go with the Nerf rail on top or you can go with a Picatinny rail on top or you can go with a rival rail. Like the options are so cool to me that this is this nice aesthetically pleasing rail system that you can actually pull out certain segments and put other pieces in. So there's, I think, four segments on this, and it's just something that's really nice and really cool to me, especially for people that have uh, shells like gear up shells or red strike shells that maybe you don't wanna cut into them. Maybe you, you want something 
useful and functional for them, but you don't want to alter this rare shell that you have, this is an option for you. And I think this is just really, really cool and something worth mentioning. Even if we don't go fully into it, it is something I'm going to have a link to both the Facebook post and the Etsy page down below as always. Now moving on to the mod of the week. This is one I have been following for a while and have wanted to talk about for a while. And this comes with from Prickly's Nerf Mods. This is a Strife Moto Fury integration, and I love the look of this blaster. Ever since I saw the work in progress shots before it was painted and the just the, the way it was gonna come together, the Moto Fury shell is just so cool. It's so good looking. And when you put a Strife on the front with, I believe it's a Blaster Forge uh, muzzle attachment on the front of that, it gives it a nice long look that isn't like a stubby look. It looks, it looks complete. It looks finished. It looks nice. And it just, I love the way this one looks. And I think they did a really good job with this blaster. And there's so much to talk about with it, but I'm, I'm not going to go into all of it. I'm going to leave the links down below because I want you to go take a look at this one and see all about it and read up on it and see all the pictures because it's a cool blaster. And I think they did a fantastic job on it. So go check that out. One other thing to check out, that's the, vi the video of the week. And that comes just from Paul Kariakos, who we have talked about here on the channel before. He is both a, uh, an aesthetic modder, a functional modder, and a cosplay uh, prop artist. And I think it is, he does fantastic work. And this is no, uh, no different. This is the Ember Celica prototype. And this is, as I said, a prototype. This is something that is in the works, but it is so cool I could not... I, c I could not show it. Uh, this is a video where he's actually talking with Captain Xavier and they're going through all of the functions of the, this blaster, the way it was built, the process, all of that stuff to get it to the point that it's currently at. And the thing that makes it so exciting is that it's a wrist mounted Nerf blaster. Who has not wanted one of those? Uh, it uses rival rounds with 12, 12 or 7 round magazines. You can pop it in and it just spits them out and it's fantastic. I would love to run one of these at a game or two of them at a game. Oh, it'd be so much fun. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to where this goes and where this ends up. It is absolutely awesome to see even just the beginnings of the prototype and where it's at currently to where it'll end up when it's finished. I love seeing that process and I want you all to check it out as well because it is super cool and I look forward to it. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, like I said, we do this every single week. Every single Saturday, we talk about the news, whether it's first party, third party, or community. And I love sharing things with all of you. So if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And let me know in the comments down below what you thought of all of the news this week, all the products, all the different cool third party or community stuff, the video and the mod of the week. I love hearing from all of you. Share your suggestions as well for videos and mods of the week. I love getting those because Maybe I missed something and didn't see something really cool, and I want to hear about it from all of you. Uh, thank you again to all of our patrons. You saw their names in the video earlier on. It is absolutely awesome. You are helping the channel grow, and I look forward to sharing what is in store with all of you on the Patreon page. Of course, check out the uh, video of the week. I was going to point this way, but that's off the screen. We're going to go this way. Video of the week's going to be right there. Uh, click on that. Go check it out for sure. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.